You are watching the Truck Stop Buzz, Charker Wives Edition. Hi guys, and thanks for watching Bumblebee Dispatch. So for 2018, we actually have a new series that we're gonna be starting. Um, we will be interviewing truckers and trucker wives so you guys can get a better insight of what it is like being on the road, either married to a trucker or a truck driver, if you are thinking about pursuing this as a career. Um, I have here today my Auntie Tammy, and she she's a trucker's wife, so she will be giving you guys a better insight on what it is like being a trucker wife. So could you basically just tell them more about yourself? Um, okay, sure, sure. Um, my name is Tammy Lamaz. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I'm a mother of four, um, two boys, Marcus, 23, Kayla, 19, and then my two girls, Lauren and Talia, 11 and 9. I'm also a stay-at-home mom part-time substitute teaching teacher, I'm sorry, and I love working with kids. Okay. Now, how long have you been married to a trucker? Well, uh, me and my husband, we've been married for 13 years. Okay. So, could you basically tell them what is what is like being a trucker's wife? Okay. Being a trucker's wife, there are pros and cons to being a trucker's wife. Um, you have to be very supportive, number one. You have to be supportive if you're going to be a trucker's wife because there are times when I don't get to see my husband as much as I would like to. In fact, in the beginning, when I first met him, he would be gone all the, all the time. Now, um, times, it's, it's much better now where he's home a little bit more now. But like I say, in the beginning, sometimes he would go, be gone three, three weeks at a time, sometimes two weeks. It just all depends on um, what company he, he's working for. Um, there have been companies where he's worked work for companies that he, he stayed gone for, like I say, up to three weeks at a time. Um, now things have pretty much smoothed smooth out as, mm -hmm. you know, as far as him being with the home time. Okay. Now, was your husband a trucker before or after you guys got married? Yes, actually, he was a truck driver before we got married. He's been a truck driver ever since um, 1998. Okay, all righty. And um, what is your occupation as a wife? I started out, when I first met him, I was a hairstylist. So when my boys were younger, I uh, did hairstyling. Mm -hmm. I went to school for cosmetology and I'm a licensed cosmetologist. Okay. Um, of course, I enjoyed that. I, I spent years of doing that. But once they started getting a little bit of uh, middle school age, actually before middle school age, I think like fifth grade with my oldest son, kind of got burnt out from doing the um, hairstyling and uh, pursued other um, aspects. I started doing something totally different. Went to the customer service side, mm -hmm. went into banking. I did banking for a couple of years. Um, also on the side, I like to do my little singing, mm -hmm. maybe weddings every year. Sometimes I was doing things like that. But um, I still do love, still have a passion for uh, doing hair. But my, big, my, my dream is really singing. I love, I love to sing and love to hear people sing. Okay, so would you say singing is a hobby or skill of yours? Do you have any other hobbies you like to do? Well, singing is definitely a hobby of mine, mm -hmm. but I also I love kids. I love babies. I love children. That's why I do the substitute teaching just to mm -hmm. um, kind of help out with the income, mm -hmm. help out with my husband's income, and just so I won't just be sitting around. I stay really, really busy with my two girls. They're in tumbling, so I stay really, really busy with doing that and along with uh, substitute teaching. But my like, I just I'll just go ahead and add this. I have a passion for singing. I'm not the greatest singer, but I just have a passion for singer, singing. My dream is to um, just maybe one day be able to do a soundtrack, a song for a movie. Mm -hmm. I would love to do that. I kind of want to be behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. I don't want to like stand up on a stage and sing in front of a whole lot of, a lot of people. That's not my dream. My dream is just to maybe a stage play maybe, but really, really, I really want to get into um, just um, doing a song for a soundtrack for a movie, that would be great. That would be okay, just Okay, guys, so we're going to ask her, would you mind singing something for us maybe after the interview later today? Sure. I, I, I think I can do that. I'll okay. give you just a little taste. I'll give you a little sample. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Um, now, do you, do you ever travel on the road with your husband? And if you do, what is it like traveling? And what's the longest you've been on the road? Okay, well, I, let, me, let me think. Okay, we, right now, I, I, I don't travel with my husband on the road, but um, with my boys, when I just had my boys, when they were younger and my husband had his own um, truck, we did have the opportunity to go on the road with him. We had an amazing time. It was wonderful. We started out here in Georgia, went all the way down to Miami, went from Miami all the way up to California. It was 
such an amazing time to be able to be on the road and to see states that you have mm -hmm. never even seen before. I remember being in Arizona and I was just really just like blown away to see, mm -hmm. just to see different environments and to, to just to see the outdoors of Arizona, the big boulder rocks on a mountain look like they were going to fall that fall over rather. But I really, really enjoy traveling. I do enjoy traveling in the truck with them. Okay. It's just really a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Now, did you travel a lot um, before you before you met your husband? Or no, I didn't do a lot of traveling. We would okay. take you know small trips here and there. Like I said, I'm from Georgia, so we would, you know take trips maybe down to Florida, Savannah. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't do a whole lot of traveling, but since I met him, we did have the opportunity to um, you know travel. And then on his um, sometimes when we do family vacations, we you know we get the traveling in. Okay. And how is it during the holidays? Let's say if your husband wasn't at home, um, do you get emotional or how is it during the holidays being married to a trucker? I'm, I'm glad you asked that question because I think a lot of people, um, you know, families or uh, people that may be um, talking or engage or um, in a relationship with a truck driver, that's very important to know. Mm -hmm. It can be very emotional at times because there are times when my husband has missed a, my daughter's birthday. He mm -hmm. Um, he came to the birthday party, but the birthday party was over because he was trying to hurry up and book it back from a load. Mm -hmm. It changed on him at the last minute. So not only was it emotional for me, it was also emotional for my daughter. Right. And to try to explain to a child why daddy missed your birthday, it was kind of hard. It right. was kind of hard at the time. Right. So sometimes it can be emotional. He's Majority of the time he's here for the holidays, but there have been times where he's missed very important um, events. Okay. And in fact, we were just recently talking about how my youngest daughter, um, Talia, that's nine years old, he was saying how the beginning, the early part of her life, how he ended up missing out on some of the most important moments of, you know, her, her taking her first steps. I mean, he saw her take her steps, but you understand what I'm saying? Just missing that beginning process mm -hmm. of her life. Yeah. So it is very, it's very hard. There were times. I would cry. I would cry when my husband would be gone three weeks at a time. I would cry. But over the years, you know, being a supportive wife and him being a supportive husband, I've gotten used to it. It's like, it's almost like clockwork now. I know right. he's going to be gone for a certain time frame and I'm just used to it now. Mm -hmm. And being that he is a great husband and he's very supportive of our family, I'm supportive of him. Mm -hmm. This is sacrifices that we both, it's sacrifices as a wife that you have to make and it's also sacrifices that um, as a husband that he has to make okay so it's you know it's just being able to be strong and understand standing the reason why he's doing what he's doing okay well um if you could give one piece of advice to another trucker's wife what would it be good good question good question i would say just always be supportive have his back because there are going to be hard times um the business depending on who he's working for, what company, because you have it has his ups and downs. But like I say, just always be supportive and just hang in there with them, you know, because it can be very lucrative. Um, the, the, the money is at, at times can be big, great. The okay. money can be great. And then sometimes when the money uh, may have a week where the pay is a little shaky and rocky. Yeah, you can have one week like, okay, what just happened? Sometimes you, it all depends on what company you work for, because you got some companies out there that, are, that will will do you wrong. Okay. But if you get with a good company and they, and they stand behind you, I would say just stand behind your husband. And um, if you're willing to make a sacrifice, because he's also making that sacrifice mm -hmm. to take care of your family, just hang in there with them. Be supportive. That's the main, most important thing to be supportive. You have to be supportive of a uh, if you're going to be a trucker's wife. You okay. have to. You have to have to be supportive. Okay. Because you know there are times, like I say, you're going to have. They're going to be nice. You're going to be alone by yourself. <laughs> But it pays off. It pays right. off. At the, in the end, it pays off. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, I would like to thank Tammy, my auntie Tammy, for um, actually joining us today on this channel. We are looking for more trucker wives or truckers who will be interested um, in sharing their stories or, you know, if they have any testimonies and so forth of either being a trucker's wife or actually being a trucker. Um, so now we're going to put her to the test and actually um, get her to do a little bit of singing for us. So okay. stay tuned. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye. Okay, guys. So we have actually my Auntie Tammy here, and she told us she can sing, y'all. So we want her to give us a little sample of what she can do. Well, I didn't say all that now, but I do I do okay. I do all right. But first, let me say two of my favorite singers are 
Whitney Houston and Patti LaBelle. So I'll just give you a little sample of two different songs that I really like. I've had some good days. I've had some hills to climb. I've had some weary days and some sleepless nights. But when I when I look around and think things over. All of my good days outweigh my bad days. I, I won't complain. Sometimes the clouds hang low and I can hardly see the road. I ask the question, Lord, why so much pain but he, he knows he knows what's best for me although my weary eyes they can't see so i'll just say thank you lord i i won't complain Okay, guys, so here she is going to give us a little bit of snippet of Patti LaBelle. Um, please make sure you leave your comments in the box below on, you know, what you think about the singing. She is available for booking um, and support her because she is a trucker's wife. All right, Tammy, go ahead. I must have rehearsed my lines a thousand times until I had them memorize but when i get up the nerve to tell you the words it just never seemed to come out right Ooh, if only you knew how much i do i do love you Oh, if only you knew how much I do, I do love you, yeah. All righty, guys. Leave your comments in the box below. Okay, guys. So you tell us what you think. Um, you've heard her sing two different songs. Um, she's a trucker wife. Leave your comments in the box below. Please subscribe, share, and like if you like this video. And um, she is available for booking. So thank you guys for watching. We are looking for more trucker wives and more truckers. Um, if you want to be a part of this show, this will be a weekly show. Just make sure you send us an email and we will get you on the schedule. Again, you're watching Bumblebee Dispatch. And if you guys haven't noticed, we are wearing the Bumblebee colors. Now, we didn't do this on purpose. We just actually happened to be wearing the Bumblebee colors as well. So thank you guys again. We love you. Please subscribe, like, and share. See you next time. If you are a trucker or trucker wife and would like to be on the show, please send us an email to info at bumblebeedispatch.com. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.